Thank you for clicking through to this video, which is number 10 of 12 regarding the barrel gasket or pot gasket, as it's more well known, and bog down. I have uploaded the full 12 reasons in a crash course, but I've listed them separately here to make things a little simpler. OK, now we've dealt with any potential issues with the spring, we can move on now to the barrel gasket or the pot gasket, as it's well known. And that's my number 10. To best explain this, I just want to show this very basic drawing here of a two-stroke engine. It's not my intentions to go into detail about how a two-stroke engine works, by the way, because there is another video I've got on about that. And if we just look into the basic workings, first of all, again, we've got air and fuel mixture that comes in here through the inlet. This is after the carburetor. And as the piston goes up, it draws the air-fuel mixture underneath it. And then without going into too much detail, that mixture is then taken to the top of the piston and used for combustion. And in order to achieve that, all of these areas here have to be totally airtight to keep that mixture in with no leaks whatsoever. Even the inlet manifold, which is here, which connects the carburetor to the barrel, has to be completely airtight between the two. But the barrel gasket sits somewhere here, and that's at the split junction between the barrel and the crankcase beneath it. And of course, it's at this point we can separate the barrel from the crankcase to do any repair works. And this is a typical barrel gasket for a, a small two-stroke engine like this. These can be made from like a papery, cardboardy type material, sometimes a metal. And as I've mentioned, they keep the seal between the barrel here and the crankcase. And it's vital that these gaskets are in good order, because if they're not, then each time the piston goes up to draw in air-fuel mixture, it can also draw in air if there's any damage around that gasket. And as we covered earlier, the air-fuel mixture is correct for the running of the engine. And any extra air, as you can see coming in there, upsets that air-fuel mixture. And we've got too much air in now to fuel. And so the air mixture to fuel mixture there is making the fuel mixture weak. And as we've covered, everything at the bottom of the piston is transferred to the top for combustion. And the problem is, once all that is transferred to the top with the weak mixture, then we've got a weak mixture there for combustion. That, of course, isn't going to combust efficiently, particularly at high revs. So it would create bog down. We'd get the same problem, by the way, if the bolts were loose that held the crankcase to the barrel. Admittingly, there is a lot more work involved in replacing these gaskets. So before you go stripping the engine right down, it's best to be sure that it is this gasket. But if you've gone through all the steps we've mentioned beforehand, then it could well be a barrel gasket. But of course, if there's one thing I've learned through all my years of repairing engines is that they'll always throw a new one in. As in, they'll always throw something new in for you to try and resolve. Something you've never come across before. So this is more of a guide. Again, thank you for watching this short video. I hope it's been of some use and please do check out my next video, which is number 11 of 12, and that's regarding the crank seals and bog down. Thanks for watching.